Well, it, it's it's a culmination of feelings. I mean, my uh, the let's not forget the real pain that's um, that's that's spread before us um, every second of every day in these last weeks, and so that's the real pain. Uh, this was a charade that in some ways was meant to bolster a message that um, does nothing to calm to calm the soul and to reassure the nation that we can recover from this moment, which is what we need yeah. from a president. And that's what the faith communities stand for. And so um, it wasn't one emotion. It was a, um, a, a series of emotions. And again, I don't want us to lose yeah. sight of the real agony here. Um, which is the um, the injustices and the heartache of our people. Um, is the president a frequent visitor to St. John's? No, no. no he's not. Uh, he is not a man of prayer on Sunday morning. We know that, um, and he has he is not one to worship mm -hmm. at St. John's or regularly or any of the churches of our diocese. Um, my friend Terry Moran of ABC News posted a Bible verse uh, posted from Matthew, and I want to read this for you. It says, and when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners that they may be seen by others. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Now, admittedly, I'm more of an Old Testament guy than a New Testament guy. So can you, Bishop, tell me the meaning of that verse and how it pertains to what we saw yesterday? Well, Jesus was very clear that God is far less interested in the um, the the um, the the show of our prayers than God is in the ethical way that we live our lives and how we treat our fellow human beings created in God's image. And so that was a sharp rebuke to all of us, people like me in leadership who lead prayers, to anyone with privilege and authority anyone who would dare to substitute the trappings of religion for the actual practice of it. And, um, and so that is what I believe Jesus is speaking to. And, um, and I think it applies for all of us whenever we attempt to hide behind our words when our deeds do not follow what we pray. I should also note, as far as we could tell, the president didn't pray there at all. So uh, he didn't even... No, he did not. He didn't. Let me be clear about it. He did not come to pray. He did not come to express uh, remorse or consolation. He did not come to share the grief or to provide hope to the thousands of young people who were gathered um, in the park that day. Um, he did nothing to say to them that your future is before you and I will protect you and do all that we can to make this country worthy of you. All the things that we need and deserve from anyone who is in leadership, spiritual or political at this time.